Hello viewers, how are you? Hope you all are doing well. Myself, Shomen Lala. Welcome to Pharma Awareness Channel. In this video, we will discuss one of the critical part of GXP computerized system. Yes, that is Windows security policy. Windows is product of Microsoft. In the year 1985, it came to the market with the version number 1.0. After that, many upgradation takes place and in the year 2024, we are getting Windows in version 11.0. Windows is a very good platform to configure our system by our own requirement. It not only helps us uh, by providing an operating system platform, it also helps us as, uh, to maintain or to protect our valuable data by providing its security level. That's why this operating system is widely acceptable throughout the world. It plays a vital role in GXP computer system. How? We'll discuss through this video. But first of all, we need to know what is Windows security policy. Windows security policy is nothing but a set of configuration of Windows. It can be applied to any desktop or any GXP computer system. It provides by its security policies, a better control of user or access level in the desktop as well as in the platform of network. Then what is the requirement of Windows security policy in GXP computer system? Yes, that is the valuable question. First and foremost things, it prevents unauthorized activity in GXP computer system. Why? Because if you are having certain security policies or certain user level of access, then easily you can protect your system by unauthorized activity. From that, it also helps us to maintain the system integrity level. Next one is, it also helps to access certain administrative controls or provide some certain administrative controls. For that, no, all the users cannot be able to do any administrative activity in any GXP computerized system. It helps through this, it helps us to provide a better user management. Finally, Windows security policy plays a vital role to maintain the compliance with respect to GXP point of view. Now, the question is, do you know the what are the important part of Windows security policy that you should have in your GXP computer system? Here it is. First of all, domain user shall not have the access to change the date and time of any GXP computer system. Yes, it is the very important part of any computer because if any user is having to change the date and time, then automatically it will impact the generation of data as well as integrity of the system. Next one is, users shall not have the access in any drive of computer system. All the drives, it is, it is required for a GXP system that all the drives, it may be C drive, D drive or any other drives which are available in the computer shall not be accessible to the domain user. If user is having the drive access, then user can create the folder by its own. Next part is, user shall not access the control panel or common prompt of the computer. We all know those who are working in Windows, control panel is a vital part of Windows because through control panel, you can install or uninstall any software or application. If domain user who is having the GXP user also is having the access in the control panel or common prompt, if they are having a chance of risk of unauthorized activity. Next one is, user should not have the access to edit, modify, move, copy, delete or rename any content of GXP computer system. Yes, that is the important part. Next one is, domain user shall not have the access in the right click option of the desktop because through right click, we all know that in the Windows platform, if right click option is there, then multiple option automatically comes like screen saver option, like personalization 
or different types of access you can uh, you have the access in your right click option like uh, creating any windows microsoft file windows excel, excel file all these things are coming in the right click option so that shall be protected in case of gxp computerized system if your system is highly secured one and you want a better level of security then also you can protect in paint snipping tool snapshot or sticky notes or notepad many time we can see that analyst if a software is revoking multiple time the passwords uh, for to control the security level of the application then analyst or user used to uh, write the user id and password in the sticky notes so that is not a good practice every time whenever uh, uh, application is revoking for the password then user easily uh, copy the uh, password or username from the sticky notes and putting there and continuing his work but that is not the good practice so it shall be avoided so domain user shall not have the access in the notepad word file or any sticky notes next point domain user shall not have the access in the task manager of windows task manager is the critical part of windows why through task manager you can start or you can stop any running activity so domain user shall not have the access in the task manager another thing user should not have the printer configuration another part is if your system needs high level of security in that case you should avoid multiple user access at a same point of time if any user is working or accessing the gxp computer system then switch user option shall be protected or shall not be available in the desktop domain user shall not have the access in the operating system level uh, related activities another thing is if your system is monitoring something or your system is monitoring continuously 24 into 7 some data in that system domain users shall not have the access to restart or shut down the system because it may interrupt your continuous monitoring of the data next one is apart from the software control you can put some harder policies or harder control or harder policies in your gxp computerized system like every computer is having usb port you can restrict the usb access to any domain user because if user is having the usb access then user if your user is attaching something uh, any external device there may be a chance of attack or with the suspicious files so that shall be restricted for any gxp computer system that is also comes from internet access so you have to also restrict internet access for any gxp computer system for domain user in some cases to protect the hardware or to having the traceability of hardware which, which is attached in the gxp computer system in that case all the hardware should have the asset code from asset code we can easily track or we can easily identify the device which is connected with the gxp computer system another thing some of we can also mention the ip address of the network device as well as the asset code of the system or any specific system identification number in its tag for its compliance point of view each system shall be dedicated with external devices each system shall be connected with dedicated external devices and shall be mentioned in the tag to identify the device which is connected with the gxp computerized system so these are the access policies you can apply to control or to maintain the compliance level of any gxp computerized system now the question is how you can maintain the compliance uh, through windows security policy yes quality department of your site shall monitor these windows security policies in each gxp computerized system next part is training that is the important part all the users who is having the access in gxp computer system shall be trained properly that what is the do's and don'ts of gxp computer system with respect to windows next if you are having the infrastructure then you can apply the security level or access level in domain controller policy 
you should not apply in the local system. If you are having the control in the domain level, then all the users can be controlled through one single platform and all the system also can be protected through domain security policies and through one single platform. You can protect all the users at the same time. Next one is only specific group of users shall have the administrative related activity. That is site IT or IT users is the only having the administrative level access. All the other departments, it may be the HODs also should not have access in any configuration related activity of GXP computer system. That helps to maintain the integrity of any system. Next. Windows security policy deployment as well as revoking shall be part of your site SOP. Your site should have proper format to maintain the deployment as well as revoking of GXP Windows policies that controls each and every system by unauthorized removing or applying of Windows security policy and that shall be approved by your quality unit. All the revoking activity or all the revoking of GXP Windows policies shall be come from QA and that shall be prior approval or prior intimation uh, to the quality department. Why? Because it is the critical part and if any user is having to revoke the uh, GXP uh, Windows policies without approval or without uh, knowledge of the QA, then there may be a chance of unauthorized activity. Windows security policies shall be applied based on the requirement of the certain system and to maintain certain security level and that shall be part of your qualification. During qualification or during computer system validation, you have to think about what are the security policies shall be applied through your system. Why? Because uh, if your system is uh, requires high level of security, then you have to define your policy. Next part is any kind of hardware or software related issue shall be handled through IT ticketing system and that ticketing system shall be accessible by the IT administrator only. And what is the requirement of this ticketing system? Because through this you can easily trace or you can easily track that what are the systems, what are the problems are there and how it is resolved and when at what time it is resolved. So all these things you can get from a single platform. So that is the important part of GXP point of view. So all these things are related to Windows security policy which you are applying for your GXP computer system. Friends, that is all about this video. So friends, if you are having different opinion with respect to Windows policy in GXP computer system, then free to write in the comment box. We will definitely respond to your comment. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you very much.